Well, this is Mr. Zanoletto again. We're going to cover topic 14 E and F today. Um, primarily, we're dealing with scale factor here. Find the scale factor between two similar figures or solve for missing lengths using a scale factor. So in this case, and we're going to use extended proportions um, to do that. Really, this problem really fits well into um, 14F, where we're solving for missing sides. And we're solving for missing sides. If you remember from our notes, we find the extended proportion. We use that to find our scale factor. And then we go back into the extended proportion and try to set it equal to the scale factor to solve for missing values. So that was our notes on this. And like I say, it's really um, a lot with 14F. We do touch on 14E, finding a scale factor. So, um, and we find that more in the middle of it all. So in this case, let's go ahead and given this quadrilateral and this quadrilateral, we're finding X, Y, and Z. This is Z here. Okay. So those are what we're really looking for. We're looking for the length of this side, the length of this side, and the length of this side. Those are the things we're looking for. So at this point, I would like to go ahead and just using this similarity statement, I'm going to go ahead and say EF, FG, GH, and EH. should be equal to JK, KL, LM, and JM. And once we fill that, once we've done that step, made that proportion, then we want to go ahead and start filling in information that we know. We know all the lengths on the top. We know EF to be 3. FG to be 6, GH to be 5, and EH to be 4. And we know JK to be 2. And we're going to be looking for the KL, which is Z, LM, which is Y, and JM, which is X. So those are what we're looking for. And 3 over 2 is already a nice simplified scale factor. So we found our scale factor. It's 3 over 2 when we compare EFGH over JKLM then it's going to be a 3 over 2. If we flipped it, it would be 2 over 3. And we still can find the right answers. We just got to be consistent, always following the same pattern, um, not changing up in the middle, and that, that can throw you off. So in this case, we have to find x. We're going to set 4 over x equals 3 over 2, which when I cross multiply, I get 3x equals 8. So x equals 8 thirds, which is equal to 2 and 2 thirds. For finding y, we're going to say 5y over 3 over 2 is 3y equals 10. So y is going to equal 10 thirds or 3 and a third. And then finding z, we have 6 over z as one of our fractions. And we're going to set that equal to 3 over 2. So we only have one unknown. We cross multiply. We get 3z equals 12. So z must be 4. So now I have those values. Um, they said they want us to find the lengths x. Y, 
y and z. And then they want us to find the perimeter. Well, we can't forget jk as well. So we're going to add to the perimeter should equal the 2 on the side that we already were given, and then x, y, z. 2 and 2 thirds, 3 and a third, and 4. Um, 2 and 4 make 6. I'm going to add those together, and then this is 5 plus 1 is 6. So you end up with 12. 12 is your perimeter. Um, in this problem, oops, sorry. in this problem, we actually have answered all four parts of what was being asked. Um, they never gave us units, so I'm going to leave it blank. I obviously can't make up units, and I'm not going to just write the word units. But you do want, if they do give them to you, you do want to give it in net units. And that's hopefully helpful for you to look through and understand how to solve a question where they give you a similarity statement and some information. If you can find the scale factor, you're halfway there, then you go ahead and just set up the proportion and solve. And you should be able to find those answers. So thank you very much and have a good day.